Uh, okay, in this tutorial, I will explain about how to create a room with a reflector and an observer. Uh, and then I will simulate uh, rays and particles in Aquatect. So first, I will check uh, unit. Um, so kind of here, you, you need, and now, so far, it is set uh, as inches. So I simply create uh, a 50 by 50 feet by 30 feet high a volume so I start with 0 and then 30 feet and another 30 feet okay I will be true I will just use from 0 I will make a 50 feet and 50 feet and 30 feet high room so it will look like this and probably here I will add a stage uh, again your if you are using rapid model just create a simplified model in Rhino so simply measure the width and height with length and height and create just make one very simple room in using rapid so I will add a simply for I'll add a stage so probably I will create a very simple uh, stage like this I don't worry about that much about all precise dimensions or not I just simply add a stage here and probably I'll add a sitting. Uh, probably look pretty look like this. I will draw a curve inside on the front view, and then <coughs> I'll extrude it. This curve, and probably this is my sitting area. And then what you have to do is you need to add a reflector. Probably I will add a reflector, something like. Uh, and also inside view I just drew a reflector so probably sound has a sound uh, projected toward this frontal area as I demonstrated during the last class time the sound is actually rather uh, focused in the back area because of the reflection of the ceiling so I kind of make a reflector on top here I may a little bit rotate it too so kind of it can pro it can project to the front area like this and probably I will add a uh, observer at the back so probably I just simply create a box uh, something simple like this and I just create a kind of observer at the end oh, so I need to extrude this one too I will extrude the curve I can reflect it like this so this one will be my reflector and probably this one will be my observer and let's see how does it look like so I'll, before when you ex before you export it I'll change the unit so I'll change to option I'll go to option unit I'll change to millimeter and then scale up and then I'll select all this geometry and then export it did and then this one is my test uh, model and I'll save it as 3ds and save it and then when you have a curve I would actually increase the fewer polygon a little bit higher so whenever you have curve I would use more polygons but if you don't have any curve I just use pure fewer polygons I export it and in Ecotech I simply ex imported the geometry I made in Rhino so I just choose file and go to desktop that one was my test model so this one is my test what I created and I simply import into existing so here is my model I will also check the uh, dimension first uh, to see this one it has the right size geometry so this one is about 50 feet so this is correct one that I'm going to create Oops. and now uh, I will create a speaker so on the top view I'll simply click here the speaker and make sure that I'm working in 3D editor view so I simply add a speaker uh, horizontal way like this and then also I will select it you see that when I click it so I have first to select any object uh, click here select icon and select the geometry so by doing so you can identify which one is selected I won't move up a little bit so I change the view from side view and also using click move icon I move little one, this one, a little bit up or upper way. Okay, so this one is ready. And then to simulate uh, rays and particles, I switch to rays and particles tab. 
uh, before doing that I'll before run simulation I'll select everything and I'll click reflector so tech selected object or reflector so everything is reflector now and but actually we have a model here these ones are my observer so I select this geometry I click this one one two third one and then material material assignment I set it as uh, panel and then probably I'll select fabric so and then also apply changes here so by doing so this one become observer uh, okay then go back to rays and particle so simply I generate rays and I will change to animated rays and going back to and then if you take a look at it so now you see that uh, here sound start to reflect and actually project the sound to more frontal area but animate it then you will see that this one is a little bit filled uh, more densely than when there's no reflector here okay so this is today's uh, this is your today's assignment if you take a look a little bit here uh, going back to so you see that the reflection start here so probably you may want to push this one a little bit back further and then probably angle focus uh, what probably angle I would focus I call it design reflector that fill somewhere uh, this area and then probably that will be it would have kind of high better acoustic uh, performance okay so this is your today's assignment okay thank you for watching it